Blues and Gloves here, and today I want to show you something really cool about Renoise. Renoise has given their users the option to be able to code additional functionality for the program. And so if you don't know about this, you really ought to. So you just go to renoise.com, and then you go to Tools, Browse, and, you're, and you can even submit if you're a programmer. Ooh, do it. And what you have is you have here just loads and loads of tools that you can use to extend the functionality of Renoise. Like this one, if you are an, OP, an OP1 user, I'm not sure what the official name for this, if it's operator or OP1. I don't know. I've seen them before. They're just friggin' expensive. That's what I remembered. But uh, anyways, it's a legendary synthesizer and this uh, will export Renoise slice samples in a drum kit format. Now, I've downloaded things like a keyboard shortcuts from here, a couple extra programs like a, a arpeggiators. There's all sorts of arpeggiators on here. Um, look at custom wave synth, a whole bunch of just nifty things that people have come up with that they thought would be cool ideas. A lot of these can enhance workflows. You're able to sort through them and they have tags. You can go into the, the version. So it's just a really awesome resource. I, so I encourage you to come in here, try them out. Uh, in my experience, everything I download, when I download it, Renoise like automatically sees it and updates itself. Like I'm like, what the heck? I didn't even have to move files anywhere. So uh, if you have to move files around, I haven't really had to do that yet. It's just done it on its own for me. It's amazing. So just a really, really awesome tool that I wanted to share with you. So make sure you check it out. Look for it. Let us your favorite ones down below. That'd be kind of cool. Let's build a little list of the gems. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day.